Okay, we continue on page 77. Wednesday, August 24th. In the middle of the night, my recorder jumped down on me. I swear. Thursday, August 25th. So today I started, I start earning money. We have a neighbor, Mrs. Lopez. She's a, an old lady and has a little dog. The dog's name is Polly. I plan to ring Mrs. Lopez's doorbell and tell her that I was going to start walking Polly every day from now on. I was sure that Mrs. Lopez would be happy that she doesn't have to do that anymore and can look after her rheumatism and her artificial hip instead or whatever it is that old ladies need to look after. And then she'll give me a lot of money. It's a perfect plan, I'm sure. So that afternoon, I rang Mrs. Lopez's bell. Mrs. Lopez looked at me with such weird lines in the forehead when I explained to her that now she could sit in her armchair and... and knit support hose because I was going to walk Polly. She put her hands on her hips and scowled at me and then acted like she wasn't an old lady at all. I like to walk Polly all by myself, thank you very much, she said and tried to close the door. I quickly stuck my foot in it and said, oh please, just for today. And then Mrs. Lopez looked like she was considering it. In the background, I could hear blood curdling screeching sounds like someone was being murdered, but I knew that was only Hannibal, Miss Lopez's parrot. Actually, he's not a parrot at all, but a cockatiel and nymph nymphicus hollandicus, as mom once told me. I think that means he's got something wrong with his nymph glands. The nymphs are located here and around here and here. <coughs> Then Mrs. Lopez said that actually she could use me today because she wants to play tennis. The senior championships were coming up on the weekend and she needed to train for it so that she could beat her old opponent, Helen Jansen. Then she pretended like she was going to hit a ball with her tennis racket. Oh man, I don't know if tennis is at all is all that healthy for old ladies, but the main thing is that I get to walk Polly. We only needed to settle the finances. I told her that I would accept $10 an hour. Mrs. Lopez got that funny expression on her face again and said she would pay me $3 and not a cent more. Now I was getting really mad. That's not the kind of thing an old granny would do, right? Old grannies are supposed to be happy when they can give young people money. After all, they already have everything, dogs and parrots and so on. How can someone be so stingy? I tried to bargain with her, but she wouldn't budge. But no, no Mrs. Lopez was totally disappointing. <laughs> but no, Mrs. Lopez was totally disappointing as an old granny. Still, Polly was really sweet. She's one of those dogs where you can't tell which end is her front and which is her back. Front? Back? Who's to say? Luckily, Mrs. Lopez, is, uh, Lopez knew. She put Polly's leash on the right end and told me that under no circumstances I was, was I to let Polly off the leash because she immediately would run off. And then I set out. The first thing I did was to go over Cheyenne's and ring the doorbell. Unfortunately, she wasn't there. Then I went to the park and the playground. Polly trotted along behind me. I think she's older than Mrs. Lopez, a real doggy granny. Actually, I almost had to pull her along. She was moving so slow, like a log on four legs. When we went to the park, I decided to let her off the leash after all. And then a whole lot of things happened at once. One, Polly immediately ran off and went right to the playground. Two, she knocked down at least four little kids. Three, she crouched down in the sandbox and left a really big poop. Impressive since she's a pretty small dog. Four, she found a few doggy treats in somebody's handbag. Five, she bit a woman who wanted to take the treats away from her. Six, she ran to the pond and jumped in. Seven, she chased ducks. Eight, she swam back with a duck in her mouth. That's called relieving. I know that because I know so much about dogs. Uh, oh, wait, that's called retrieving. In the meantime, 10 or 20 mothers started screaming as if something bad had happened. 
I just wanted to go home and pretend like I didn't have anything to do with any of this. But then I would have gotten into trouble with Mrs. Lopez. So I had to go over to that. Okay, and we'll find out how she gets Polly back home um, in the next video.